Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a high quality, awesome travel trailer that has corner bunk beds made by Winnebago. This is the 2023 Winnebago Mini Model 2801 BHS. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Mini and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be showing everybody this awesome mini from Winnebago. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! Wrapping up the day. Wrapping it up. We knew that we would have one unit without AC units, yep. four units with AC units, and you know what, whatever, we'll get the sixth unit done without AC, yeah. and we'll suffer through. But what did we see walking into the building? We were walking into the building, and I'm like, hey, I think this Winnebago is plugged in. So it was an easy choice. Now, there is one thing I wanna tell everybody. There's yeah. two things. One, this unit's actually sold. Oh, is it? We have 11 more in the company. Okay. But three of them have a stupid, amazing sale price like this one. Nice. Has. So we are going to tell you the sale price and then hopefully the other 11 throughout the company, no promises, but hopefully we can get to the same sale price or at least close to it. Yeah, for sure. Let's begin, Will. Okay. Model is 2801 Winnebago Mini. The actual tip to tip length is 32 feet, five inches. The dry weight is 6,781 pounds, and the hitch weight is 820 pounds. There you well, go. This is the Winnebago Mini. A couple weeks ago, you saw us do the Micro Mini. This one is the Mini, which is not Micro. You know okay. What, I mean? what I love about all these Winnebagos, it doesn't matter if it's the Hike, the Micro Mini, or the Diesel Pushers, they all use the highest quality of materials you pay for it, but for you sure. get what you pay for. It. Right here, Will, we do have a Lippert Power Tongue Jack. Propane tanks go here and your battery goes here. Look at this awesome painted, molded fiberglass front cap from Winnebago. It looks absolutely fantastic. And you have a diamond plate rock guard right there. Okay. Coming on down the side here, we do have very nice pasture storage. There you go. Huge storage in there, right? Will. And. Slam, slam latch. latch doors. There you go, can't beat it. Right over there, we do have electric stabilizing jacks. Okay. Love this. Well, everything I'm seeing, they're doing right. Not only that, Winnebago, they do use Asdell for the sidewalls. If you guys don't know, Asdell is a composite and will never delaminate on you. There you go. Coming on down the side here, look at this huge power awning with LED lights, speakers on the outside there, a very nice water heater, okay? Okay. Right over here is your potable water fill. Potable, potable. And you can have a TV for the outside. Nice. And then look at these tires, Will. Look at the endurance tires. I love those. ST225-75 R15. Very nice. Not only that, Will, right here we do have the Lippert solid steps. Okay. And then, right here, we actually have an outside kitchen. Check this out. Very nice height hot point refrigerator, a sink that's actually plumbed through. Nice. Graystone cooktop. Very, very nice. And a power outlet there, even a little light. And again, slay and latch doors. I love it. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for the sink slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. Prep for the Voyager backup camera there. And then right here, we have a door for the bunk area. Oh my gosh. And it flips up. It flips up well. But I am feeling that AC right. burst onto my face right now. It feels it's like been running all day. It's like, well, who knows how long it's been running. Right. Here's what I do know. It shows like 71 degrees in there. Nice. Oh man. Well, we are ending the day on a high note. Yes. All right. Finishing up, we do have the power right there. Okay. I mean, look at that drip. It's been dripping for a minute. Mm -hmm. Cable and satellite hookup. You can see where you uh, push for your jacks. Right here's where you dump your tanks. You got your potable water filth, outdoor shower. Potable, potable. Black tank flush, everything that you need right here. I think okay. we can squeeze by. Yes, sir, I think we can too. You gotta be careful though, there's some big old ants 
these uh, fire ants in um, Ocala area. Mike! Mike! Want to be on YouTube? Oh, Lord. This is Mike. This is the guy that saved the day and made sure every single unit we reviewed today was plugged in. Well, we can't have you passing out now. Thank you, sir. <laughs> we appreciate you. Not all heroes wear capes. That's right. And just so everybody knows, we did buy him and his partner lunch today. Yeah. And it wasn't enough. It wasn't. Like seriously, we should have given him a hundred bucks. We don't get paid enough, but that's what like I felt like doing. Right. Just to show my like appreciation and gratitude. Right. Right there, we do have uh, another place to dump. And then right here, the other side of the storage. See, well, I don't think people understand when we go to dealerships, like half the staff doesn't even know we're there. Right. We try to be very low key and we don't want to disturb the, right, the operations. operations. But yeah. today we had to. Yeah. And Mike is the man. Well, the outside looks great, but the inside looks better. Let's go take a look. Okay. You know, some people will ask if we even work at all. Right. Somebody said it today. She was just like, hey, slacker. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm not slacking. You know, because you know what it is, Will? What? It's a few days in Ocala, a few days in it Tampa, is. a few days in Ohio, yep. a few days in Michigan. We're never one place. I and know. then shows and openings. It looks like we hardly work. Right, to each person. Right. It's all perspective. Pers hey, perspective's reality. Yep. Okay, we'll start up front. We got a nice bedroom up front here. Kitchen is right off of that with your dining room across or dining area. You got your um, living area, and then in the back is the bunks, and next to that is the bathroom. Well, before we give a huge shout out to the sponsor, people want to know if one AC unit's enough. There's only one AC unit. There is here. only one AC, and it's I, hot. And it's cold. And it's cold in here, yeah. Yes, it is. So you know what? Everything is, it just depends, you know? The problem is, is that if you start this AC midday, like if you've been driving right, and right. then you start the AC, it's going to take a while for it to cool. It's probably not going to be until that night that it cools down. Understood, understood. And the difference of parking under a tree makes yeah, all the difference. Yeah, it does. Well, well, let's take a quick second to give a shout out to Lippert and we're going to continue the video. Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait, be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. Okay, well, we are back and we're starting back here. Very nice corner bunk unit. It actually has really nice space. Nice big window there, big window there. Everything's lit up. As you saw, this bed does flip up out of the way so you can use it for storage. There's USB and USB-C in there. Okay. Well, I'm going in. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's good for the kids. Yeah, for sure. You know, I, I I feel fine. It is not the most claustrophobic bed I've ever slept in, but it's definitely not the most open bunk right, bed I've ever been right. in. You know what I'm saying? Like even like this, I'm a okay. I got a nice window here. Oh, and that's nice. This window right here, well, does open. Oh, uh, very nice. Coming on here behind the entertainment center. Huge That's pantry awesome. storage. I like that. That is very big. It is behind the entertainment center. As you guys know, it's Winnebago. So they're doing this very nice cabinetry throughout everything. Well, earlier today, and what everybody saw last week, we were in a micro mini. Right. Same cabinets. Right. Nice big screen TV here. Wireless phone charger there. JBL sound system. 
and then storage right here and here. Very nice. And then directly across from the TV well is the sofa. First, let's check this out. Very nice with the uh, balances here. Yep. These are uh, accordion blinds. You guys know we're not a huge fan of them. Right. It just kind of is what it is in this unit. And then right here, well, very comfortable sofa. For sure. You know Winnebago makes their own sofas and cabinets. Oh, do they? I didn't yes. know that. Yeah, mo most of Winnebago, what they do, it's all in-house. Nice. That's kind of what makes them different, special, and unique. Really nice TV placement, well, nice light interior. It's weird, because it's still like a shade of brown, but like yeah. a lighter brown. Yeah, you know for I'm sure. Saying? And then this does come out, make a bed. Let me show everybody. Man, look at that. Looks great. Yes, it does. Nice big um, trifold sofa right there. There you go. So if you do have adult-sized guests, they can come with you. And you still have plenty of space to walk by them, yeah. use the bathroom, go in and out of the camper, whatever you need to do. Try. And then wrapping all it up. Yeah, you got the dinette here. Let's get these lights on. Yes, sir. I like how they did like the curve at the edge right there so you don't like hit your your leg but then they didn't curve that support right we do have storage underneath there storage underneath there okay very nice this does drop down and make a bed and well it's just an overall just a nice dinette it is you know it's nothing great but it's nothing horrible right i like the windows all the way around and everything cool well well do you know what time it is it's now time for the msrp is that Doc hitting you? No, not really, actually. Oh, okay. Give me a little bit. You ready for this, Will? Yeah. MSRP on this travel trailer here. Stock number 278-976 is $61,204. I mean, you guys want quality. You're paying for it in this yeah. unit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Sale price on these three units, one in North Canton, Brownstown and Ocala. By the way, the Ocala one sold. This right. one sold. Sale price is $35,999, which ended up being 38% off MSRP, 39% off MSRP, and 41% off MSRP. That's crazy. Freaking crazy mm -hmm. for a Winnebago one. Right. But for a current model year two, I actually had to call the boss to see if that was an error. Right. Here's what I do know. Again, this one sold. And we do have 11 more in the company. And the other nine don't have sale prices. Right, right. So I cannot confirm if we can do this price on those other ones. Right. Here's what I can confirm. All you need to do is to go to generalrv.com slash matscast. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to my team. A member of my team will call you back, contact you back. You let them know you saw the Winnebago Mini 2801BH on Matt's RV Reviews. And Cosmo said we will try our best to accommodate this price for everybody. But at the end of the day, guys, there's no promises. You know what for I'm sure. saying? Yeah. Here's what I do know. Cosmo said, we're gonna go to work for you guys and try our best to make the customer happy. You know what I'm saying, Absolutely. Will? Absolutely. So just reach out to our team, guys. We're gonna, regardless, we're gonna get everybody the best price we can and the best price in America. That's right. Will, show everybody this unit. Okay. We'll start right over here. Nice refrigerator here. This is the two-way fridge. So it works off of propane or electricity. Underneath. You got some storage right there. Very nice. And then a nice little high point microwave right there. Yes, sir. Fury on range hood. Hood range. Three burner Elite Series cooktop by Suburban. Great backsplash there. No oven, but you do have a couple drawers here. Um, this is a convection microwave. Okay, so good, 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 good. 
your breaker and fuses right there. And look at them with the blue cabinets I on like the bottom that, again. Actually, yeah. Okay. Nice storage up top. Yes, sir. Little window on your camping side. Right there. Decent countertop space. Couple drawers right here. Right there. And then coming back up top, you got storage there. Yes, sir. Again, great backsplash, little extension faucets. You've got a big single bowl sink right there. Nice and big. And then wrapping it up, you got some storage right there. Yes, sir. That's it. Okay, well, why don't you show us the bathroom? Okay. Let's see if you fit on in that shower. Okay. Check it out. Here we go. This looks like a good shower, actually. It does look like a big step up, though. Big step up. Oh, man. Dang. See, man, we did an alliance a couple days ago that was cutting it close. This is even closer. This is the test. Okay, there's still room, so I'm gonna pass it. I'm gonna follow the same rules. This pass is ding! But just to give you guys an idea, there's about that much room above my head. You so. went by an inch, Will, or you went by a mile? That's right. Right over here, you got a little bit of storage, okay? okay. Nice mirrored medicine cabinet there. Oh, and liquefied sitting Very on the nice. shelf. Nice. The best brand of RV toilet treatment, Will, go to primepoopincision.com, pick up a bottle. Not only does it support the channel, because that's our company, but it really is the absolute best toilet treatment in the industry. That's right. Nice uh, sink right there. And then a little bit of storage underneath there. Okay. Okay. Ports and toilet, Will. And here's what I will say. You see this divot here? Yeah. That is making this a prime poop position. Ding! There you go. They would have cut it like that. Wouldn't have passed. Would have been a no-go. Would have been a no-go. Very nice. Coming all through to the master bedroom. We have a very nice doorway here. Okay. Right here, good storage. We have a little drawer. Okay. okay. Wow, a big drawer. Got the same thing over here. Well, you got that shelf first. Same storage over here. Uh, countertop space, big drawer right there. You do have power and USB on both sides. Okay, okay. Queen size bed, and then um, a TV right over there. Well, here's what I will say. It is warmer in the bedroom. It is, for I sure. I can feel it, actually. Yeah. Hey, at the end of the day, it's Florida. You know what I'm yep. saying? So, uh, but I feel like with that fan turned on, it would help the air circulation. Right. So that's not prep for a second AC, right? Uh, I don't know. Just because there's no sticker, it doesn't mean it is. Um, you'd have to confirm that. Okay. Right here, queen size bed. And then we do have huge storage underneath. Also, I love that. Yeah. No, um, well, there is a heat duct in the floor in the bathroom. Okay. But again, I love that there. You know what I'm saying? I do too. Uh, nice pocket door right here. And overall, this is an amazing travel trailer at an amazing price point. Right. With that huge, truthfully, not at an amazing price point. Right. Right? I mean, that's a $60,000 travel trailer. But the discount that we have on it will... We represent Winnebago at the Hershey RV show. Right. Um, and so we're able to offer these at phenomenal prices. Yeah. So it's a phenomenal RV at a phenomenal price. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we just don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Let's do three things we dislike. Dang, I was hoping you'd say likes first. Can I know, but it's the end of the day. I know, I know, but can you say likes first? Okay. Because I still need to think of dislikes. Okay. Unless you have three. I have I have two, but really they're combo to one. You know what? Well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna disagree with you. Okay, we'll do dislike. We'll end on a positive note because okay. then tomorrow we'll be back at Tampa. Sounds good. What is dislike number one? So for me, I really hate these blinds. Yes. They're cheap. You I know. do not like those blinds. And especially when it's supposed to be a higher end travel trailer. Right. Just yeah. give us a slow rise. 100% agree. Well, that is dislike number one. What's dislike number two? Well, really dislike number two is, I was going to kind of combo it, but it's the carpet in here. Combo Again, it. it. Combo it. In a higher end unit. No, no, know, wait. Combo it. With the shades? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Well, announce it. I mean, it's a combo. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I mean, again, you're paying more for Winnebago, you ex kind of expect it to, you know, have those higher end finishes and, um, you know, think through those things. 
That's number one. Well, dislike number two for me, I am gonna say there's not a ton of countertop yeah. space here. Yeah, oh, that's a good one. I was thinking about that too. And they didn't even put a flip up. You know it will give yeah. us a flip up extension. You know what I'm saying? That's number two, Will. And then I do have a number three and I'm kind of nitpicking, but I'm not nitpicking. You know why, Will? Why? Because the show's an opinion-based show. That's right. This is not a factual show. I much prefer to have a fireplace here. Oh, okay. Give me a little electric fireplace that looks good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The storage behind here is fantastic. It is. So this little bit of storage ain't gonna do me no right, good. You know what right. I'm saying? That's three things. And I mean, I can combo it, Will. Oh, no pantry, no dedicated pantry. Yeah, no, there is, kind Where, of. where? That. No, this is gonna be for the kids. Oh. Uh, it ain't gonna be for my little Debbies. Right. It's gonna be for them. Okay. So it's just a little, you know, a whole bunch of little things. I agree. But there's nothing, no, nothing like big major dislike, which is actually kind of cool. That's three things we don't like about it. Well, now it's time for three things we love about this unit. May I go first? Sure. The bunk beds. Yeah. Big bunks, corner bunks, teddy bear mattress. You're still able to get the flip up bunk with that door in the rear and an actual outside kitchen with a plumb through sink. Fan freaking tastic. That is number one. Will, what's number two? Number two for me is gonna be this bathroom. I actually think they did really well in here for the space they were working with considering it passed the shower test and the prime pooping position. And then, you know, you have decent storage in there as well. Yeah, not only that, well, what really is gonna make it special it is. Is, is this. This had to cost them a lot of money and labor yeah. instead of just cutting it off. Right. But again, it made the difference. It did, it really did. That's number two, and then well, number three for me is going to be the cabinetry, the tall ceilings, the fit and finish. Winnebago does not care what product they're making. They are using the highest end material and quality, and that's why they're able to demand such a high price point. And to combo that with General RV's huge discount, just yes. makes it a phenomenal unit at a phenomenal price. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Mike for having the AC on all the units today, except the very first one that we did, and that was a small Winnebago Micro Mini that yes. you guys saw last week. If you got, and, and you know what? If we would have asked him, he would have had that one he plugged in too. Yeah. If you guys are interested in getting this unit or any RV, go to generalrv.com slash Cash. We've linked it down below. You can get there from mattsrvrvs.com or call 844-969-4033. Again, no promises on that $35,999 by the time you're watching this, but reach out to my team. And again, Cosmo said, we're gonna put our best foot forward to see if we can get that price on the other units. But again, I cannot confirm that, but we will try our best. Will, what do you got to say? Thank you guys all so much for watching. Again, this is such a good trailer. I think high quality, but also a little bit smaller. And I just like to see what Winnebago is doing in them. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike about it. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody yes, so much you. for watching. And Will, we'll see you next time.